Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I have an unboxing and first look of a new marbles knife that I uh, uh, could acquire. Uh, so this is the MR595. This is one of uh, the orange G10 uh, series that they did release a couple of months ago. I could get one uh, with a really nice aggressive hogbill style blade, but this one is another uh, beautiful piece with this nice cleaver. So this is the Marbles Orange G10 Cleaver Hawk. The model number is MR595. Uh, we have a overall length of 18 centimeters or 7.1 inch. The blade is 7.8 centimeters or 3 inches with a cutting edge of 6.8 centimeters or 2.7 inches and the blade width is 1.2.1 centimeters or 0 0.83 inches the blade thickness is 2.6 millimeters or 0 0.1 inch the handle is 10.3 centimeters or 4 inches long with a thickness of 1.1 centimeter or 0 0.43 inches the construction on this beautiful knife uh, we have a 440A stainless steel with a high mirror polish. Then we have uh, black G10 liners, orange scales uh, with black G10 of course. This really nice yin yang pattern here. Lanyard hole with a hot dog style uh, shield which is made out of black G10 pin construction made in China model number and there is stamped marbles so for those of you who don't know marbles is one of the brands that is owned by Smoky Mountain Nineworks uh, it is I would say uh, in the same category as Rough Rider but usually uh, they will have uh, some more uh, premium uh, materials so some of uh, the knives they're produced uh, in a uh, standard production capacity are uh, with D2 and micarta of course but um, by now it is the same with uh, Rough Rider which I will uh, show you in a few minutes when I compare uh, some uh, knives uh, with this one Okay, uh, so this is a slip joint construction, so if you live in a jurisdiction where only slip joint knives are available for you to carry, then definitely you can go with this one. We have a, a enlarged nail nick or long pull, I would like to call it, as an opening method. Keep in mind that this is really polished, so it is really slippery, um, but the, the pull on these are probably around 6. We have a nice uh, 90 degree uh, half stop and the walk and talk is really nice out of the box of course the weight comes at 61.7 grams or 2.2 ounces so let me show you the sharpness of course So yeah, on some parts it is really sharp and on some parts not that much. Definitely could use uh, a strap, so please keep that in mind. But this is perfectly fine uh, for a knife that will cost you $14.99. So this is pricing from Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. It will obviously depend uh, where are you buying this one and what kind of extra costs are uh, involved with the purchase like for shipping and so on so keep that in mind but around $15 uh, yeah this is nothing too uh, nothing uh, that expensive that will break your bank okay so let's see let's see a few size comparisons so like I mentioned this is a uh, this is a, a hog design or they uh, have a listed as a hog so this is a half hog from uh, Rough Rider. You can definitely see it is uh, smaller. 
but basically uh, if you would go down to basic uh, this is a, uh, a swayback jack uh, design just with uh, a different let's put the swayback jack in from this is the model from uh, brother in the 15 06 yeah. so definitely you see the same uh, upswoop handle so this is best uh, for working of tasks for pruning and cutting branches and working in the garden and so on so this is workman's knife so it is not uh, you you can you can use it also in this position but it will uh, dig up in your meat of your uh, of your hand is because the, the design was that it is using this capacity on this motion here so therefore it's, it's way back jack okay so and like I mentioned the, the higher end models that Rafael is putting out uh, this is the carbon 2 series uh, which is a black carbon with um, blue blue G10 accents And they have a uh, titan carbon steel, if I'm not mistaken, but still it is a half hog uh, pattern. So, and I don't uh, recollect that uh, Rough Rider does have a full size hog, um, at least at the, at the time point when I'm making this video. Okay, let's continue. Here is a Sodbuster Junior from Case. is my tribal lock which is probably around the same size okay here's the rustic gent from CVV let's go with uh, the Texas toothpick from Buck Rough Rider Peanut, one of my favorite small knives. Here's a small stockman from Rough Rider. The nice Midnight Sword Acrylic. Okay, let's continue with. So here is the Big Lighter 2 from uh, Kaiser. Is the Kaiser Pinch? CRKT uh, PLR One Elementum from CVV QSP Penguin. Smorgrifillion from Benchmade Spiderco Delica Kershalik Right Model 2 940 from Benchmade Kersha Shuffle 2 and let's close it down with the K Bar Dozer Folding Hunter Okay, so this was one of uh, probably one of the most interested uh, newcomers uh, from marbles that I could found in a recent month or so. But uh, keep in mind these are probably uh, available uh, by now uh, in the US. I have just wait for my dealer here in uh, Europe to to get these, and uh, there are a couple more 
designs in uh, the line so when I have the possibility or uh, option to get one of these I will certainly will get it and share uh, the video here on my channel so you can see what is the quality of the knife of course I must say this is really nice no hot spots no sharp corners they definitely went above and beyond uh, the $15 price mark they uh, they ask for it and if you are looking for something uh, uh, cleaver style or razor style then uh, this is a really nice nice option uh, for you to have okay with that being said I would like to thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions please leave comments down below I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can of course if you are a subscriber thank you very much big thumbs up to you if you are not then please consider subscribing uh, to not miss any future videos i try still to grow this channel after after 10 years and uh, yeah it will be uh, really helpful if you are uh, if you are um, subscribed and uh, engage uh, with uh, me and my uh, subscribers here so can we can have a discussion okay with that being said i'd like to thank you for watching and wish you a wonderful day hope to see you soon